Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, that was a tough one. We showed a lot of uh, tenacity, fight. Um, you know, the thing that has been really good for us uh, this whole weekend, you know, the first inning was a little rough. Our pitching was a little rough that first inning. So, um, but I was really proud of our effort. I, I was proud of our fight and controlling the things that we can control. Do you have a question? Raise your hand. Trisha, we always talk to you about your pitching approach. You're trying to get Ackerman through the lineup once or just – I know you're trying to play two games, but what was the thought process? Yeah, she had a good matchup against them. Obviously, we just weren't executing pitches. Um, but, yeah, I mean, our, our approach before the game was um, Ackerman to Kennedy, and if we had to go with a short leash, it was going to go Preston. It just all happened to, hap you know, happen in the first inning. So it was a really short leash and even shorter, yes. Hey, hey, Coach. Um, yesterday you held them to two. Hit, I mean, two runs. Obviously, eleven today. What was the difference that they did, or was it your pitching, or what was the main difference there? Mm, I think if you watch the game, you kind of know what the difference was. I think we executed our pitches the way we needed to execute it. Um, just had a lot of barrels because the ball was over the white. So there's a reason. Kirk. Yeah, three pitchers in one inning is never good, obviously. Yeah. Do you feel like that took something out of your team a little bit as far as maybe confidence? Yeah, I didn't think that our confidence was down, and I think it showed with us coming back and answering right away. Uh, I was really um, – I, I thought we were in a good place. We came back and, you know, got one run and then, um, you know, came – you know, gave up some runs, you know, that, that next inning. But we kept fighting, and that's the biggest thing. At the end of the day, this game is hard. You have two very good teams on the field, and you just got to keep fighting and competing. And I thought we did a really good job yeah. of that today. Do you feel like fatigue played a factor with two games yesterday at all? I, yeah, I mean, we can sit here. I always say they're 18 to 22. How tired can you be, you know? <laughs> um, but, um, you know, we've had a lot of games like that. Our, our season um, in Florida, when we started off there, we had every – Late, we had late game, early game, early game, early game. So, I mean, that's kind of the way it goes. And, you know, we had long games and he had good competition on the field. And so um, I feel like, you know, tired at this point in time is, is a mental state. And I say that quite a bit, like being tired is a mental state. And um, so I, I don't think that that was a big factor for us. Back by the cameras. Coach, uh, could you just talk about the decision to bring uh, Riley in the w uh, when you did and then obviously – uh, the way that at-bat played out, and then after that, Riley, if you could just take me through that at-bat. Yeah. Um, I was kind of forced to, to bring her in um, with some things that were going on on the field. So just thought it was good to kind of readjust things. And um, Riley, you know, has done a great job for us behind the plate and has caught, obviously, lefty a lot, um, Emily Kennedy. And, um, you know, she had an opportunity, and Riley took advantage of it. Um, I think the – I came up to you before you were at bat, and I said, hey, get your A swings off. Like, be ready this first pitch. Get your A swings off. And she did it. Yeah, as soon as I – I mean, obviously, watching the game, she was attacking hitters early. So, at that point, we had nothing to lose. So, I was, just, I was taking a hack, and whatever happens, happens. Coach, going into the off season, I know it's really, really fresh. But um, what are you going to take away from your first season in, in, with A and M and with the squad? Yeah, I think um, if you look at how we finish today, obviously not with a win, but our our fight and our grit on our um, within our program, I think that's something that's big that I've traditionally always had in programs that I've you know coached at, and so I think continuing with that. Um, I, I thought we had really good at-bats that last inning. We put runners on base. I mean, we didn't quit. And so you always have a shot. You know, I had a, we had a big game when I was at ASU against Utah. With two outs, we scored eight runs to win. Like, that's something that, you know, hopefully we will continue to build on here. Yeah, Coach, I think it was bottom of the third. I think you all have runners on second and third, one out at 6-2. It felt like that could have been a momentum turning kind of inning for you guys. I think um, they got out of it with two strikeouts. What did you kind of see during those at-bats? And, and did that feel like maybe that was the biggest missed opportunity for you guys? You know, I felt like we were going to hit Mac, honestly. I thought we barreled her all – all game. Um, I felt like we got passive, honestly, and, and that usually gets us in trouble. And so when we, you know, I think we took some pitches that watching film we shouldn't have been taking. And uh, and then you have to, you know, kind of play the guessing game. And um, that's, that's never going <laughs> to go well for us. So I think we just, you know, we have, you know, Texas is young too, but we 
are young and just, you know, we have tendencies to like start off and be aggressive early in the count and then kind of take in the middle of the game where we kind of get a little passive and then turn it back on in the sixth and seventh. So th I think that's going to be our key. Yeah, moving forward. That was actually going to be my question, but another one was at the end when Jeff got thrown out, whatever, was it frustration to add up with your team with the, with the errors and the walks and not, not getting the clutch hits like that? When, when things I went think, apart. Yeah, us as coaches, we're always going to fight for our team and fight for our players. And Coach Harger, uh, I think if you've watched him, which you guys have obviously this weekend, um, he, he's got a lot of passion and he's got their backs. And I am absolutely A OK -okay with what he did because he's going to have all of our players' backs. Did Julia get thrown out? I guess not really, but she was told to go to the dugout. So. Coach, you obviously know Mac Morgan well. Yep. Uh, what was kind of what did you tell your batters when they're facing her? And also, your first impression of uh, playing here? You all have been making some trips here. Uh, yeah. And if the players could answer about their impressions of you know coming here too. Yeah. Um, obviously, I know Mac well. I recruited her at a young age. She came to camp, you know, so I've known her for three or four years. And I just told him, I'm like, she's going to put the ball over the plate. She's going to work in and out. Her ball's got downspin on it. Um, she didn't throw a lot of change up. She only threw, I think, a couple today. Trent hit one hard that Mia chested up, which that was a heck of a play. Um, but I mean, she's a pretty simple in that way. She does a really good job of, you know, um, being great at that, you know. Um, I think, um, you know, playing here, I, I mean, I love rivalry uh, atmospheres. Um, when you all come over to Davis Diamond, um, it's going to be spicy. And that's what this is all about, you know. Um, I love it. I'd play in this type of environment every, every time because there's nothing better than college athletics. Um, yeah, it was great. I think coming here for the next couple years, the rivalry, like reviving it, it's going to be so intense. It's going to be fun, and we're ready. We're ready for the next time. Yeah, bring it to Davis Diamond. Be ready. Um, you, Amari, could you go ahead and say, what, what did you get out of this first year? You and the freshman, you, and now that it's over, we're looking back, what did you get most out of this season? Fight. Like Coach has been saying the entire time, I think continuously throughout the game, keep going regardless about what happens. If I'm down, my teammates got my back, and just keep playing. That's my biggest thing. Just keep going. Back to the cameras. Uh, uh, Amari, what, what do you feel like y'all did well, I guess, first, second inning? Y'all were able to kind of manufacture a couple runs. It seemed like y'all had trouble with that a little bit earlier in the regional. And then, you know, some missed opportunities late. But wh how, what do you feel like y'all were doing well today? And then just areas for you and some of the returners moving into the off season to clean up to, you know, hopefully even without the big hit, at least scrape a run or two across. I think in that second inning, we just stayed simple. And we were able, we had our plan, we stuck to it, and we didn't go astray from anything like that. And I think taking that into off season in the next couple of years, just keep it simple and keep fighting and stick to what we know instead of trying to run up another team. Got one last one on the yeah. left, Kirk. It's your first year in the SEC. Mm -hmm. Could you give me your impressions of the league and how do you think Texas will compete in the SEC in the future? Yeah, I mean, it's a great league, honestly. I think um, there's a lot of really good softball, you know, conferences, if I'm being honest. And I think, um, you know, as the years go by, like sometimes the PAC is really good. Sometimes the SEC is really good. Sometimes, you know, Big 12, ACC. I mean, you're, you're getting just the parity across the border, um, you know, in our sport. And I don't know. I think that's fun. Um, I think Texas is going to be fine competing. Um, I'm really excited to bring back, you know, every year we're playing them. You know, uh, I think that's good for the sport. It's good for the state of Texas. Um, you know, so I, I enjoy I enjoy conference play a lot just because, um, you know, I didn't get to obviously we didn't get to play everybody. So that's a little different for me, um, you know, because you have, you know, we have so many in our conference, and that's going to get even more exaggerated as we, we add two more. But I think it's just going to help our sport. And I don't know that there's a better conference, especially after you add Texas and Oklahoma to our already very um, difficult conference that's going to help you prepare more for postseason. And that's really what season is about, is getting better, progressing, and getting ready for a long run in the postseason. Who's the best one or two teams you saw all year? 
Oh, well, I'm really bad at this because I think we can beat everybody. So <laughs> we were in every game. You know, um, Georgia, when they came to us, I thought they were going to, um, you know, kind of mash their way through and kind of, you know, it's up and down. Um, but Tennessee's got pitching. You know, the Pickens kids, when she threw, uh, we had a rain delay and she threw the first pitch. And I was like, ooh, that's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But we got to her, so that was good. Um, but, I mean, her with Rodgers, you know, Rodgers has been healthy. This is kind of the first year that she's been healthy. So, um, you know, if you have a drop ball to throw against Tennessee, I think you're going to be in good shape, though. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've played Oklahoma. We've played, you know, UCLA, which I know UCLA, you know, um, Liberty uh, knocked them out. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, Oklahoma is a pretty complete um, team, to be honest with you. But I want to play them every year because that's going to give you good information, right? Like, right. we're not going to run from anybody. So I'm excited. Riley, Mari, Coach, thank you. Thank